this uh, Tariq Nasheed? This is Tariq, who is this? My name is uh, Katie Heron. I'm calling because um, I had the opportunity of meeting Mr. Tommy Sotomayor this weekend in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. I was told that I should call you um, and let you know how well my experience with, uh, was with him. Uh oh, what, what happened? Okay, well, let me start here. Um, a friend of mine sent a link um, of your roast video about him chilling. I watched your roast, and I just want to let you know that everything that you said was exactly on target about this person. What, oh, uh, what? I'm, Go ahead. Uh, now, what did he do to you? Okay, I met him down at the rally um, for uh, my grand. He um, presented himself like he really, you know, was here in St. Louis to do some work, you know, for the people. Um, he hit on me a little bit uh, the Friday night when I met him. He ended up coming to meet me and my cousin. We went out to dinner. Yeah. He acted, uh, I've, I've seen his video, so I know what he's about. Right. I also have trolled him on Facebook a, a little bit and on Twitter. Yeah. Um, so, but he, he didn't, he didn't show too many poor behaviors that on Friday night, but I saw it in him. You know, he was very loud, obnoxious, so nigga this, nigga that. You know, it's people in the restaurant, but he kept it at a minimum. Yeah. He ended up inviting me out uh, the next day to the Cardinals game here in St. Louis. He um, showed his complete ass at the game. Mm, what did he do? We were the only people that were sitting, uh, we were sitting like third row, I believe, from a uh, home plate maybe, or maybe like third day, something like that. Yeah. Um, every other word out of his mouth was, look at these bros. Oh, hold on, let me, let me back up. Friday night at the restaurant, you were the center of the conversation. Everything that he told me was this broke ass nigga, Tariq Nasheed, mad at me. Uh, he jealous of me. He came to my house. I said this nigga, these broke ass niggas so mad at me. So this is why I kind of felt uncomfortable with him the first night. Right, right. There are people around us, you know, that can hear him speaking like this. So he right. didn't see anything wrong with this. And I couldn't even understand why he spent the whole time telling me about you either. I, I wasn't uh, very familiar with the beef that you had with him. And I really didn't care because I thought he was in St. Louis for something else. Right, right, But right. you were the center of attention for the, the whole time he was there. Told me that you gave him $1,000 uh, so that you, you, your name could be attached to the credit of his movie. So he's going to put your name in there as a bad cop to reach or something like that. Because mm -hmm. it's too late to give you the money back. You donated it on the book for something that's like that. Right, right. Um, so at the game... Uh, he was just really focused on um, getting the attention of everybody sitting around us. Keep in mind, we're the only black people sitting here. Right. Every other word out of his mouth is, uh, these broke-ass niggas out here serving us all the food. Uh, why niggas always ain't never got no damn jobs? I'm the richest nigga in this motherfucker. Niggas ain't never sat this close before. He going on and on and on and on. Right. I'm like, look, I'm like, this is a family event. Like, this, you need to tone down a little bit. Right. He got up there, and he was like, everybody's laughing. I was like, no. Nobody's laughing. Look around. Everybody's uncomfortable right now. Yeah, yeah. Dude, dude is just on that bullshit, man. And it's just finally time to expose the dude. So just so I can, so he can't, because he keeps throwing my name like we're buddies. That's why people keep saying, I thought y'all were best friends. No, you know, I've only talked to this nigga like, what, two times? I think maybe three. But I've only had a conversation, like a voice conversation, a physical interaction, whatever, like two or three times. And this nigga's acting right. like we've grown up together since we were kids or some shit. I don't really fuck with the dude like that. And I, I'm just letting people know that it's done. And I'm not going to keep talking about the dude or none of that shit. I, tonight was the final rose. I had what I said, what I had to say. Now, I might bring back the puppet. <laughs> now, the puppet might come back, but he's done. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the call. Thanks for the call, young lady. Let me get some more calls. But yeah. Uh, again, I'm, I'm done. You know, I'm not going to keep going on and on. I said what I had to say.